Hi, today we are going to learn how to detect moving objects on a fixed background. So what does it mean? Let's see for example the next video. So we can see the moving cars. Let's move one step ahead. So now we are starting to detect the cars. Let's continue to the next step. Now the, the objects are more uh, dense and the next step is and drawing a rectangle around each moving object and the last phase would be uh, showing only the moving objects on a, on a black background so uh, let's start coding Okay, let's uh, first create a, a Python uh, a Python file. We'll call it uh, detect uh, moving objects. Of course, I will uh, leave all this uh, coding in my uh, GitHub uh, repository. So the the video description will also include a link uh, to this uh, file. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's uh, start with the uh, Download, downloading our uh, video file uh, I will uh, download, download it from uh, Pixabay I will leave uh, a link for this video in my uh, GitHub uh, repo Okay, so let's find the file Okay Let's download the file And we can uh, copy the, the file to any to any folder, I will copy it to, to my uh, temporary folder. Okay, here's the file. Let's run it. So this is the video. You can see this is a fixed camera and the car are moving. Okay, let's import a CV2 and import a NumPy. First of all, let's uh, read our uh, video file and display it using uh, OpenCV. This is a, a really straightforward uh, process. So uh, just uh, follow it and uh, use the code or, or copy the code as you like. Basically, we are running a, a while loop and displaying each frame um, using OpenCV library. So the IM show will show each frame inside the loop and uh, in order to, to, to quit this, uh, this while loop we can press the, the key character and uh, it will break the, the loop. Okay, let's run it. So we can see the, the frames, we can see the movie, okay, everything is work fine. Let's continue to the next step. Okay, the next step is uh, uh, creating an object that helps us to extract the moving objects. This is only the first phase of extracting or detecting the, the moving object. We will use the create background uh, subtractor MOG2. Uh, this will be the, the first phase of uh, extracting the, the object. History equals two, that means that uh, uh, it will double check uh, for each two frames in order to each two history frames in order to detect uh, the moving objects the camera should be fixed it should be sh should be not uh, uh, moving the, this function works only on a fixed uh, camera and then we will uh, create a, a mask based on this object and apply it on each frame 
Next, we'll do some thresholds uh, on this uh, uh, masking. Uh, these thresholds help us to distinguish between uh, uh, white uh, values and uh, black values. So it will be between 20 and 255. And uh, let's show the, the outcome of this uh, masking. You can see that it's uh, pretty good but we have a lot of noise in the background so we need another function to emphasize the the moving cars um, so let's continue uh, and add some more functions on this uh, uh, masking we will use the arrow the function and we will apply a kernel of three by three on one inter one iteration let's run it again Sorry, let's say uh, uh, I have a syntax, a syntax error, iterations, okay. Okay, now you can see that the, the background is, uh, uh, is more black and less noise. And now let's add a, a delayed uh, function to emphasize the, the cars, the moving cars. And let's add another kernel and run it uh, uh, run it again with six iterations okay now you can see that the cars are um, more emphasized on the mask let's continue and detect our contours We will use the cv2 find contours function and we will send it our uh, fg mask the one that we displayed earlier we are looking only for external contours not inside the cars only uh, around the, around each car uh, let's duplicate our frame. Now, since uh, we have a lot of contours, we would like to, to run a, a for loop inside our contours and only detect the bigger ones. We will find the, the area size that is uh, relevant for detecting uh, moving cars. So basically, let's try a, a 20 thousands. And for each detected contour, we will get its uh, dimensions. Now let's draw a rectangle around each detected area. And basically, we should uh, detect our uh, upcoming cars. Uh, we would like to put some text in it, uh, next to each car. Text will be car detected. Uh, the position will be uh, 10 pixels uh, above each car. Okay, the font, the color, the size. It's uh, a straightforward process of putting a text on a frame. Let's display our uh, frame and let's run it again. 
So now you can see we have a, a rectangle and around the detected objects. And we also display the text car detected as a green text. Okay, the next phase is uh, doing a object segmentation. That means that we are going to extract the car and let's say uh, take it outside of our uh, video and uh, create a, a new frame that the background will be black and the rest will be our extracted uh, cars. So basically the cars will be colored without any background. So let's display it. Okay, this is the original one and this is the results. Very nice. Okay, next. Okay, as final phase, let's uh, uh, create a, a new NumPy array, which is uh, an image that combines three of our uh, pre-work or pre-images that we have uh, created earlier. That means that we would like to display the original image, we would like to display the segmented image, and we would like to display the car with the uh, rectangle around each car. So everything will be uh, displayed as one image. So since it's a, a, a bigger image, we have to resize it. So let's add the CV2 resize uh, function. Uh, I believe that we have to resize it uh, about 30% uh, or 40%. Or Let's uh, try it uh, as 40% and let's display it all together as a one stacked image or one stacked video. Okay, as you can see, in the left is the original image, in the middle it's the extracted or segmented car, and on the right we have the car with the detected car with the rectangle around each one of them. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much. You are most welcome to subscribe to my channel for the next upcoming videos. Bye bye.